Hello guys, welcome to Tech Cover IT Solutions and in today's video I'm going to show you how to change a keyboard uh, in Lenovo uh, T series laptops like the higher generations let's say T440, T450, T450S, T460, T470, T480 like T440 and up uh, will be the same procedure uh, how to change keyboard so actually the laptop uh, I have right now it's a missing key but that's not an issue uh, I can replace the key uh, uh, but the issue with the keyboard is that some of the keys are not working as well and my guess is the keyboard is bad like laptop is perfectly fine in good condition so first of all I have to show you how to start with the keyboard uh, changing procedure uh, first of all you guys have to remove the battery and removing the battery is easy you j there are two clips just uh, move the clips uh, towards uh, like you know on your left and right and, and, and pull the battery out and that's it and after that you guys uh, can look for there are two rubbers one is this one one is this one on both sides so both these uh, rubbers are connected to the keyboard so if you want to change the keyboard uh, you have to remove these rubbers and removing these rubbers is a bit tricky so you have to find something like sharp uh, so I have to insert this and remove this one this one is removed now I have to remove the second one as well now this one is removed as well uh, okay so you can see that's it like from this part from this side it's done now I have to turn around the laptop and uh, now I have to what I have to do now it's it's a bit hard to manage it here but uh, I can show it to you here so you guys can look for something um, which is not too sharp like uh, you have to there are two there are two points you can see um, there are two points like uh, a bit um, what can I say uh, deep holes like a small holes so you guys have to push the holes with something which is not really sharp so now in this case I'm using uh, this thing but uh, you you guys can find something better or if your nails are good you guys can use nails as well now with nails it's done easily so now when you push both these sides uh, with your nails or something um, uh, wood or plastic you guys uh, will move the, the, the top frame uh, to, uh, towards inside that's why we removed these rubbers and now now there are uh, five screws under the top frame like the plastic so you have to remove the screws they are not completely removable but you can make them loose and yeah when you uh, feel a sound like click then it means that they are completely removed uh, I have to remove all of them so don't forget to remove the screws properly rather than uh, putting any force on the keyboard uh, so now I have to open all these screws so one two three four four on top and two uh, down so now when all the screws are open now I have to pull the keyboard up a bit and now it's completely removed there are two there are two uh, slots you have to open the slots carefully don't break it this is the keyboard it's gone I have this one for my replacement so now just remember one thing before deploying the keyboard just try to uh, just just make sure that the top panel which we uh, moved inside in the other keyboard is all already already uh, moved in this one as well because when we deploy it inside we need to uh, we need to uh, tighten the screws and for that we need that first panel to be uh, inside so so first of all uh, don't forget to uh, insert don't forget to insert the um, the cables the the, the um, display um, panels and once it is inserted like both of them are inserted then you guys have to 
yeah they're inserted properly now my my guess is like my suggestion would be don't uh, go for tightening the screws uh, first of all check the keyboard if it's working or not and yeah it's working in my case it's perfectly fine it's working i put um, i click the enter uh, the, the f1 button and it works so so it's working now i have to move to another step um, just move the keyboard a bit inside uh, move the top panel uh, inside as well and now i have the options to i have the option to tighten the screws the first one is tightened the second one now the third one so tighten all the screws it's almost done so the tricky part was to remove that rubbers and to remove all the screws properly uh, otherwise you will be uh, forcing on the keyboard and it's not gonna uh, open so yeah when it's done keep both nails on on those uh, small uh, uh, holes and make it push a bit harder down well, normally it's it's easy it's not that a big deal but uh, if, if it's giving you hard time be careful with it and now our keyboard is completely uh, fit and looks okay now I have to rotate the screen the, the laptop and put the rubbers back on 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 its play on its holes now both are put back and that's it our keyboard is changed thank you so much for watching this video uh, guys like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you bye